Hey guys, let's take a stroll to the garage. Tell you what happened today. What a uh, unique day. Had a long day at the gym. Decided to do a little tuning on the race car here. Um, so I've been battling with the starting issues. Starting primarily just um, she gets a little lopy or kind of surgy um, after about maybe 30 seconds. So I'm trying to dial in that fuel startup table. So check it out. I went to start it today and um, had a nice visit from my neighbor. Well, it was not so nice. An older lady, I'd say in her 60s, late 60s, um, actually came and approached me while I was tuning the car. It was 2.30 in the afternoon. She decided to uh, come in and basically state, state her dislike of what's going on. So let me show you the house. Actually, before I even open the garage, I'll tell you the rest of the story and I'll point them out to you, point her out to you. So anyways, um, started up and she came, tapped, walked into my garage here. Tapped on my window as the car was idling and I shut the car off and she goes, what's all this noise about? I told her trying to dial in the car and she's like, so it's you who've been racing around the car around midnight. So she made the first assumption and accusation, which was actually 100% actually wrong. Um, on my work days, I get up at 3.30 in the morning to uh, get a workout in, start my shift at 6 a.m., come home around sometimes seven o'clock if I go to the gym afterwards, but it's not me. So she made that assumption and actually had the nerve to tell me to sell her. She's like, it sounds like you're having problems. Why don't you sell her? That's what she actually said. So I went in and told her, I said, you know what? I played the nice guy rule and I said, you know what? Let me know when you're napping. What time do you usually take your afternoon naps and I won't start the car then? How about that? Or how about yet, what's a good convenient time for me to start the car for you? I turned the tables on her and she couldn't answer. So she just told me, oh, I'll just let your conscience bother you. Well, doesn't bother me at all because 2.30 in the afternoon, I live in the city. This isn't like a, we're not in a retirement community or anything like that. I'm not revving the engine up. I'm not storming up and down the street. You know, and especially the, it's cool now, but in dead heat of summer, when I get that idling down, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it long in the garage either way. It's too hot, 120 or 115 degrees out, no way seeing the car. I don't think so. So that's what happened today. Um, what's your guys' opinion on how this should be handled? I looked it up and I know that the, um, actually in Arizona, the decibel limits are roughly about 50 decibels with I'm pretty which I'm pretty sure this is louder because when I looked it up I think 50 decibels is equivalent to uh, uh, Noise in a restaurant conversation noise in a restaurant. Well, does depends what kind of restaurant, right? It could be popping or a Garbage disposal, but then again, she's probably her house is probably a good let's say 100 yards away 90 yards away from me um, I make that speculation because I'm a golfer and I kind of could tell but I may be off who knows but what's your guys's opinion how would you handle it in a adult manner I'll show you the house you can actually hear helicopters that house there, right over there. So actually from where I'm standing here, it's about a good, hundred yards, I'd say. That's about a, uh, less, it's a less than a hundred yards, less than a hundred yards. It's probably more like 60 yards, but she probably heard the noise because this time of year, we um, typically keep the windows open because it's nice out. So there's my story for the day, the rant. Tell me how you guys would handle it. I'd love to hear.